Uh, welcome uh, LFX Academy. So today we are going to look at uh, supply and uh, demand when it comes to forex trading. Okay, so we are looking at price action like we usually do every Monday, Wednesday and uh, Thursday. So this is where we do some revision, some revisions. So today we are looking at supply and uh, demand which is very important so this is uh, the picture that you are seeing so on top that is where we are seeing supply level then below we are seeing demand level so we we'll get to understand more what it simply means okay so as you can see here on these points here here on these points where we are seeing three points this is a supply then demand demand okay so these are so important that we need to to need to understand them very very well so supply 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 then we are able to see demand demand so supply it is where the price drops then uh, demand it is where the price goes up okay so supply and demand it is very very important okay so supply and demand when forex trading is no difference to supply and demand with any other real world trades so the way we the way we just uh, the way supply and demand works in forex this is how supply and demand also works in other businesses okay so which is so very important so we do not need to we do not need to be to to see it complicated okay so the trick however when it comes to the using of uh, supply and demand levels when trading it is so important that you are able to quickly and easily identify these levels to find to find out uh, how to manage your trades which will be dealing at uh, in this uh, presentation so what is supply and demand so supply and demand in simple terms however we need just to understand is that uh, Supply is the amount on offer for a certain product, assets, in the case of trading, forex, recurrence. So demand is the amount that is wanted for a certain assets, product or currency. So supply it is the amount on offer for a certain product, assets, when it comes to uh, in the case of trading so supply it is amount on offer so it is amount it is an amount on offer that is supply on a product or assets now when it comes to demand it is amount that is wanted for a certain assets so supply it is an offer for a certain product or assets or a currency but when it comes to demand it is a, it is the amount that is wanted for a certain assets or product so that is a uh, what supply and demand is or the difference so for example for, for a for a simple for example example that we can look at for example petrol or gas okay for example petrol or gas when there is a lot of gas around and uh, there is a large of supply what will happen is that the price will fall and it will be cheap so when there's a lot of uh, when there's a lot of gas around there is a large of amount of supply okay 
so which we need to take note of that. Now the demand increases and uh, the rest supply are variable. Okay. So if the demand increases, there is less supply available, then people will start to buy, to pay higher services or prices. So when uh, there is a, there is a, there is a, there is a demand, when, the, when if the demand increases, there is less supply. So when there is more supply, there will be less demand and uh, the price drops. But when there is when, uh, uh, less supply, the, the demand increases and uh, the price will go up. So supply and demand can be seen on everything from home, prices through to the amount you pay for your food. I'm sure we have noticed that. So for example, during rain season, if uh, if if the the if there are few people are selling let's say umbrellas if there are few people who are selling umbrellas and everyone wants umbrellas what will happen is that there are few supplies or suppliers and the price automatically will increase why because there are few people are selling. But if there are a lot of people that are selling, then it means there is a lot of supply which will result uh, for the price to drop. The demand would keep, the, there will be few, there will be no uh, few demands. Okay. So this is what we need to concentrate. Okay. So this is what we need to, to identify when it comes to forex trading. So the easiest way to think about this is what happens when price starts rising rapidly in a rising market. As the price begins to go higher and higher, so what happens is that traders are trying to enter and increase in demand because there is not enough supply to keep up with this rising demand. The price, the price rises higher, okay? So there are many ways in, way, in which we can use to identify supply and demand level on the forex charts, okay? Common ways are trend lines, support and resistance, and even using those that we, we have, uh, the, diamond, uh, the indicators, which can help us to identify this support and resistance with a, you can even use a moving average. Okay, so the easiest way, however, which we need to, to use actually for us for easy identifying is of uh, supply and demand on your chart is with a major support and uh, resistance levels. These levels where price continuously bends from sh from sure consistency level where the price is finding over supply and the level where the demand grows. So, for example, when we look at uh, this chart, we would see the supply there. So, on top where the supply level there, on top where the supply level here on top, here on top, this is our support level. Pardon, this is our resistance. Then where you are seeing the de de demand level, this is our support level. So this is the easiest way to, 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 to identify the supply and demand. So on top there, there was too much, there was too much, uh, on top there, there was too much, uh, there was too much, uh, there was too much uh, supply. Hence, the price drops. Now, down there, there was demand. The moment the, the price reached on the, the support, there was a demand. So, the price increased. That is why you can see the goods you buy. Okay? So, this is what you need to identify. 
So when you want to go in for a buy, a good buy, you need to concentrate on the demand level when the price is now going up. So that is when you can go in with a buy. Okay? So this is how we do it. This is how we trade. On how you need to identify on which trade on uh, when you are using supply and uh, demand. This is very, very important. Okay? This is very, very important. That is how we make profit. Okay? So when you look at this example, on our resistance there on top, you could see that the price is setting back lower from the supply level. Okay? It could, you could see it, it's showing lower, lower, lower from the supply level. Okay? On this particular point, as you can see here. Yeah. Okay? But when you look at uh, down there, price is buying back higher from demand level. So here, the price is buying back higher from demand, from demand level is going up. But here it was going down. Okay? So these are very, very important. This is very, very important for us to identify. So if you want to go in as buy, you can end you could have entered from here so that you go eat there you cross so if you want to enter sell you come with it here you cross on automatically here sell here you cross okay so that is how you'll be able to make good profits so this is where we end for today we'll continue learning on uh, sharpening the skills so let make sure that you you go through it once more even on your real chart on how to identify the the demand supply and uh, demand thank you